In this course, we are creating a JEE 6 web application. JEE stands for Java Platform Enterprise Edition. And we are going to use this technology to build our web application. The best place to get all the documentation about the JEE platform is the Oracle website. So if you go to the Oracle website, the URL is in here. I mean, the simplest way to get to this would be just say JEE6 documentation and search in Google. This would be the first result which would usually come in. Java EE is nothing but a set of specifications that define how various things are developed in Java enterprise applications. The specific thing that we are focusing on in this particular course is the Java servlet technology. So we are going to use Java servlets to create our web application. There are a lot of other things in the Java EE specification like JSF, JPA, Java Persistence API, JAX RS, how do you develop REST web services with Java, and things like JMS, how do you interact using JMS, Java messaging service, with other applications. Our focus would be on understanding how to develop web applications using the Java servlet technology. Now that we have a little bit of background on JEE request response, we are ready to answer the question, what is a servlet? A servlet is nothing but a very simple Java class which can take a request in and can respond back with a response. So a servlet takes the input as a request and gives the response as the output. That's basically what a servlet is. In this course, we are only interested in web requests, the HTTP request and HTTP response. So we are really interested in HTTP servlets, basically the servlets which can take a HTTP request as input and a HTTP response as an output. Now, let's look at our first example servlet. Thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us. At In 28 Minutes, we defined a learning roadmap for Java and front-end developers. We created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen. There are four things you can do to make best use of these courses. Number one is Udemy. You'll find a link in the description of the video to our Udemy profile. We are teaching a lot of courses on Udemy and most of them are free. Number two, visit our website www.in28minutes.com. You'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to Udemy and our GitHub code as well. Number three, visit our GitHub repository. With more than 20 repositories covering varied examples, it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.